it two miles according to this. Some temporary diversion, it doesn't actually show you what that means or, or where to go. They should have it on the pole. They haven't, they haven't got it on the pole, so it means nothing. I'm just going to follow this way. I ain't going up no road. This, when I was on the train earlier, there were I seen loads and loads of walkers. They must all do it in the morning. I've seen loads and loads of walkers. I haven't seen hardly anybody coming this way. It's weird, isn't it, really? So I was right over there earlier. Like I was saying, I had trouble with the camera. I did this once last year where it wouldn't charge properly. I had to just forget about it, put the leads on and just hope. <clears throat> but it kept on saying connected to USC, USB and, and with a round thing in the middle. I mean, it was really weird. There must be another path that people usually follow then. And, uh, because that wasn't very clear. There's no way I'd find that more dangerous going up that road. I'm more likely to get killed than walking along here. See, I keep saying it, but I mean, are, am I on the right track? Watch it, one and three quarters. Please keep away from the cliff edge. Footpath on unstable ground. Do not use footpath for your own safety. Oh, I've got no idea what they're talking about. I can see another sign right over there. Where is it? There we go. <coughs> Looks clear enough to me. Looks like you've just got to head over there. Otherwise, where do you go? Because I can't see no other path. I can't see no other path. I might find some stretcher sheet when you're walking along here. Yeah, so I'm in this field. There's some people, pottery makers, caravans up there. Apparently you go down, there's a track down there which I'm not using, but I can see a sign up there. I mean, it's all right treading on here at the moment because they've cut the crop. It's very blowy, but it's not, it's nice and cool actually. But I'm glad I came out with what I've got on, and I've been lucky. It's only a mile and three quarters to watch it now, so even if I got drenched for half an hour, I've got clean, dry clothes when I get back. But he said it's coming tomorrow, so I think, or it's definitely coming by the end of the week. I you know, just inhaled some, some seeds or something. So I've just come in from over there. And I was right, right, right round there. Which you see that big mound. And on top of the mound is the Camping and Caravan Club. But when I contacted them a week or so ago, they didn't have any vacancies. That's the trouble with it. Or they didn't have any hookup. So I thought, well... It isn't going to cost me that much in petrol. I'll just have to drive over here. I've got lots to do over here, see? I've got um, Dunster Castle to do. I've got... Um, what else have I got? I 
I've got Dunster Castle and I've got a great big trig point mound I can't remember the name of it at the moment I've got that to do as well you can see where it's unstable look, it's all these cracks I mean if there was an earthquake now it might actually move and I'd run up there <laughs> but this is pretty, this is close to the edge if you just keep on the path Sheila, you'll be alright it's not raining at the moment so it probably won't move but it, it is moving though, look, you can see it's cracked Right, so I just wanted to do a bit of videoing mainly because I've hardly done any I was surrounded by people all the time back there, no one comes on proper walks do they? nobody bothers you can see how close to the edge I am here it's the same all the way along. It's the same all the way along. As long as you don't go leaning over the edge. It's well worn this. People are doing it. Just I haven't actually seen anyone on it. I think it was down there where you're getting all the subsidence. Down that way. Yeah, so there's a great big hill right up in the distance, very distance. Right in the distance. It begins with K, I think, but I can't remember the name of it. All I know is I've got to do it. No, there's a K in it, it's Dunkery. Dunkery Beacon. Now I've got a feeling I have been there about 20 years ago. I know I've been there, but the thing is, I can't, I was driven there by someone else. I've not actually done it myself or took any photos. <sighs> and I want to walk there from Dunster. There's a nice circular path you can do. I've got to try and fit it in before the end of the summer. I'm doing more home, what I call more homegrown stuff at the moment. <sighs> and doing more homegrown stuff. I mean, that, that map thing they put on the flipping fence, it don't tell you anything. What they should say is, don't go in here. Well, they don't actually say that. Is this the diversion? I've got a feeling this is the diversion. Watch it. Still one and three quarter miles. Said that when I was right over the other side of that field, it said one and three. That's what I mean about the farmer's mile. Oh, we're going into the wood now. No warning sign here, though. Oh, just run random. Look, we're on track everyone, going through this wood. Right, I've got to stop a minute. 